How's it going? It's your favorite realtor, Evan St. Gerard with Team NWE of Keller Williams Realty. That's me right there. Anyway, I have a special guest, Severia Iconis. I almost butchered your name, but I, I cleaned it up pretty good. good. Uh, Severio, uh, you're a loan officer, uh, right. but you also are a professor. Mm, you're correct. All right. So what advice would you give to the parents right now who have kids going back to school? I mean, go ahead. So, okay, so, so as both an adjunct professor and a father who has kids in school, I think the first thing you have to do is acknowledge with the student that this is not a regular situation. So it's okay if you are a little out of sorts, okay? Um, as we're approaching um, the reopening, right, both at the colleges I teach at um, and the college where my daughter goes to school and my son's uh, preparing to go back to a senior year of high school, um, they started to reflect on, yeah, I, I, the learning was tough at home. It's difficult to do what we normally do remotely. Um, however, now faced with going back and the potential of a spike, they're even more concerned. So it causes them to not just acknowledge the difficulty, but um, kind of juggle the, the, the benefits of either, right? Um, and I polled some of my college students the other night because the, the school uh, is deciding some sort of hybrid modality. Mm -hmm. And about 85 to 90% of them said, no, no, we're good. As much as that stinks working remotely online, mm -hmm. it's safer for me to do it that way for an hour, at least until this fall semester is over. Let's start okay. 21 fresh. Okay. Um, now, and then again, there's another anecdote. I, I took my daughter to college a couple of weeks ago. She went early because I had to quarantine and take tests. She calls me on Tuesday morning and says, uh, yeah, it's pretty bleak. And I said, what do, you mean, what do you mean by that, Grace? And she says, well, you know, I, she's an upperclassman. She's an RA, right, a mm -hmm. resident assistant in the dorm. And she sees the underclassman not taking this seriously. Okay. So... Um, she said, I don't be surprised if you're going to get a call from me shortly that we're going to have to quickly leave, right, in the cover of dark. You know, like go there and pack up and leave. Okay. So there's a lot of uncertainty, right? Um, that's why with uh, my son, we decided to stay home and work, right? That was one of the choices, um, live, hybrid, or full remote. We decided full remote. Uh his thought process is, well, I know my friends over the summer have not been diligent about quarantining. <laughs> so as, as tough as the school and as, as has made, uh, as diligent as the school's been with their plans and they've been really good about it, you can't account for activities outside of school, right? Yeah, kids are going to be kids. Kids are going to be kids. But I, I will tell you, one thing that um, my, my son did to, to kind of um, – deal with the monotony and the stress of it. And I, and I started using it myself is um, when you are attending your class, mm -hmm. right? Um, don't do it in your pajamas. I was going to ask you. Get up, go do what you would do as if you were getting ready to leave. Put on, and put on your sneakers, your, you know, your school sweats, your hoodie, right? And you get your books you, and then go back to your room as if you have changed your environment. How about not just putting on the clothes, pretending you're actually getting out the door to go to school, but yeah. actually take that stuff, get out of your room, find another section in the house and work from there. Just like most of us who are working as the parents have actually got out of their bedrooms, found some place in the house basically to go quietly work. Uh, maybe an old room that no one was using or it was a storage room and now it turned into an office. Maybe just find a spot in the house, make that the new right. office or the study area. Yeah, I actually recommended that to my son. Um, but his computer is like a uh, high-powered gaming computer, and he's got a okay. lot of accessories hooked up. Okay. So he, to, to move his laptop is, it would stress him out. But we offered, use the dining room, come downstairs in my office, you know, or to change your physical environment, not just the surroundings. Um, we'll figure that one out. You know, maybe it's just uh, um, using another laptop we have in the house you know, right. as opposed to the original one. Well, as a parent, you have a teenage son. Mm -hmm. 
for the people who are watching, they might have teenagers or, or maybe younger kids. Um, are you monitoring what they're doing for schoolwork or are you just giving them their space for a couple hours and you're doing your own thing? What the latter. I'm giving them their space mm -hmm. um, because, uh, you know, the first few weeks of this new environment back in like March, um, we had some regular check-ins and they kind of earned the right for the space because I okay. know that I learned that they were doing the right things and, and the right steps and I would follow up with the student the class and um, the teachers, they would email. So uh, they've kind of earned, uh, well, my son, because my daughter's away at college. So my son's earned the right um, to the space. I don't need to check up on him. All right. For those of the, the people who are watching that might have younger kids, what advice would you give them? Um, it's obviously going to be stressful for you and you, you're going to be out of sorts, right? Um, so just give yourself a break and don't, and realize that you're going to probably be overwhelmed and stressed as, as well. Um, and so are they, right? They might seem, it might've seemed initially great because they're home with the parents and they, their, their play buddies are here all the time, mm -hmm. but um, they don't even know what they're going through. Like we're talking about how stressful you may be. So be mindful of that. They can't even be mindful of it. They don't understand necessarily the young, yeah. young This kids, is new so. territory for everybody. Yeah. And there's one thing I do, Evans, that I've done pre COVID or, in, you know, whenever, whenever I'm at a stressful situation, uh, with the children, um, before I literally snap, I say to myself, does this thing in front of me right now, will it matter in five years? Okay. That's an interesting approach. Right? It immediately yeah. puts things in perspective. I like the way you think. All and right. um, it helps. All right. That's good to know. All right. So the parents are doing this. The kids are doing this. They're processing everything. Um, what, what would you recommend to do after their schoolwork is done? Obviously, they got to do homework and stuff like that. After that's done, what do you recommend to the parents? I recommend a few things. De definitely a walk. As simple okay. as that sounds, you know, if it's a crowded area, obviously, you know, you bring your masks, you walk, you walk um, and notice things to take the opportunity to notice the outside environment, um, to take um, advantage of the outside and realize that um, there are things bigger than you and mm -hmm. there's beauty around, right? Um, and also sit in a room with the family without TV and just talk about things that you don't normally talk about. Um, in other actual, words, don't actual, ask about have some family. Have some yeah. actual family time. Correct. Don't ask about school. Let's not talk about work. Let's not talk about Peapod or Instacart. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? All right. So basically, the cell phones are not in the even. They're not even in the room. So basically, you're saying parents, yeah. kids, teenagers put the phone in another room and just actually yeah. have some family time. Right. Maybe whip out a board game and just play. I don't know. Uno, Monopoly. Do something we like bought uh -huh. Battleship. Oh my god, classic, classic. Yep. And and we did that a lot. Okay. I would also recommend if you're gonna go classic, I would say you bring out Jenga. Nothing is more competitive than Jenga, besides Uno and Dominoes. Of course, right. Well, let's not forget the king of all games. Rock and Psych and Robots. Oh god, you know what? You want you want to get a competition between parents and kids? Definitely bring out the old right. games, especially one of those ones. And the head goes up. Uh, right. Yeah, you can get some stress out. Basically, the kids and the parents can get some stress out. Right, but the key of the family time is not to discuss typical family matters. Right, it's yeah. just to interact as a family unit that enjoys being with each other. I, I like what you I like what you're saying. All right, so let's tie this up with a bow. What would okay. you say, basically, somebody's watching this, they, they, got, they got the ideas, now what should, what should they do? Um, be thoughtful and plan what the next few months is going to be like, okay? Um, it's going to be difficult. This is going to continue, but it's going to be for all for the better. And to tie it into what you and I do on a daily basis, Evans, to, 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 for our living, um, a lot of us – those of us on, on this call today are fortunate to be able to shelter in place and quarantine the way that we do. 
we might be feeling like we're going crazy. The kids might be going crazy. But if yeah. you look around where you live and who, with whom you live, we are fortunate to be able to do this crazy quarantine where we're able to do it in relative peace, harmony, and not for wanting of anything. So now more than ever, home is the most important thing. All right. I don't think I could say anything else to top that. So, um, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Evan St. Gerard. You just watched uh, Severio I Iaconis. Severio, right. if they're interested in getting loans, uh, refinancing, or anything like that, how can they reach you? You can reach me on my direct number, 516-404-3052. That's my mobile, so you can text or call straight away. You know I'm going to ask you to say the number again. 516-404-3052. All right. I'm Evan St. Gerard, your friendly neighborhood realtor, and that's me right there. So the other ball guy, that's uh, Dean, that's my business partner. So if you have any questions about buying, selling, or investing in real estate, give me a call or give Dean. You can call me on my cell, which is 917-975-5985. Again, that number is 917-975-5985. I'll have my website at the end of the video. Again, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions about real estate, anything tied to real estate, give me a call. Talk to you soon. Bye.